What a beautiful, not quite morning, but it's not afternoon yet here at the River House. The frost has left the ground, which in Montana, that means mud season. And the snow has melted off the rock piles. Just a little bit left in just a few spots. Uh, since the mud is kind of prohibiting doing any real work, I'm up here going to do some maintenance. I want to, I know I mentioned doing it before, but this is the video of us changing the oil on the excavator here. In theory, the oil that's in it is fine, but it's not my oil, and, uh, you know, I start fresh. I then want to swap out the cap and rotor on the rock crusher. I already put plugs in it, but let's, let's do the job. Let's finish it up. And then I need to take the air cleaner off the rock crusher one last time, put my brace in, and uh, seal up the joint there. And I can talk about the changes I made. Uh, many of them at your suggestions. So, for instance, Elderly Iron uh, recommended uh, the brace, so the vibration would probably probably be a problem. And you know, you're not. Yeah, I'm sure you're right there. And then my father was concerned that the air cleaner could slip off its base sideways without being noticed under the bucket and then suck. So I have welded all the way around the ring a, uh, a metal band that captures... I'm not used to the wide angle lens on this camera. That captures uh, the rubber gasket so that it can't walk off sideways. If we get all that done, I don't know, I might try to drain the fuel system on the Willys Jeep in preparation for hopefully getting it running tomorrow as well. At least giving it a good old-fashioned try. And I've just discovered that the charger in the camper has, has gone kaput. So it's not charging its batteries. Probably hasn't been all winter. Um, so... It's probably two dead batteries, permanently dead batteries in there. You know, we can only fix one thing at a time. So let's, let's get started on the most valuable thing on the land and get some fresh dinosaur juice in that big girl behind me. <clears throat> so there's a fair bit of room down here and that oil drain plug is nicely located along with the filter cluster there. I don't actually know why it's got two filters and I don't know if it's standard just replace both of them every single time or not. But I'm gonna replace both of them because again then at least it's mine. So we'll get that draining. You got a five gallon bucket. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. Um, if not I'll have to put the plug back in and Get another one. Oh, there's a magnet on the end of it. And it's clean. Makes me a happy guy. For a big industrial six-cylinder diesel, this oil seems totally fine. I just don't know how many hours are on it. I know when it was last changed, but not how many hours, so now I'll be able to say with a little more certainty.
All right. We've done a lot of stuff. So I fired up the rock crusher and warmed it up, and I just finished changing the oil on that, which is something I wanted to do since its old air cleaner had failed anyways. So that's got fresh clean oil, and we made a fresh pile of uh, new crushed rock. I got some filters draining, and then I think we're done here. Uh, there's now a flat tire on the back of that thing, so I think I've torn out a sidewall. It sure as crap ain't worth fixing them, so I guess I might be in buying a, a set of cheap tires, which I wanted to do like a hole in the head. When I walked down to get some tools, I noticed the gutter was leaking, so I decided I'd fix that. And when I set up the giant 12-foot wooden ladders, you know, they got those metal bars. Well, mine are inherited from my grandfather, and they're old, and they stick. So I had to uh, rip it uh, apart, which then catapulted that metal reinforcing rod. I thought I lost my front teeth, but after a while of spitting blood, uh, I mean, I'm being careful with them. I don't even want to wiggle them with my tongue, but I think we're going to be fine. So it's been it's been an exciting, exciting afternoon. Crap, considering it's only two. So uh, Shay's away with his friends uh, doing a sleepover, and I, I think you know just, we're coming up on 24 hours together, and you know how it is. So that's got to be coming to a close pretty soon. But uh, still haven't been contacted by them. I might, I might drive this monster up there and begin bucketing the rock for crushing down. Or I, I guess I could go over there and bucket the rock for crushing. Or I could go over there and bucket the rock for crushing. Or over there and bucket the rock for crushing. Probably should change the tire first. And we're back to another beautiful morning. Quite a bit more morning-ish than the last morning that we morning together. Uh, on, on the chopping block is, is to continue to, to make gravel. Simply because I, uh, I really can't mess with that mud. You know, if I try to work in there preparing the base for the rock wall first I'm likely to drive the mud pretty deep where the base is and that doesn't seem like a good idea and, and second I will rip that place to shreds but if I give it a week I'll still rip it to shreds so this morning uh, I was out here and I fabric cobbled this monstrosity together as kind of a, a proof of concept I've pre-filled up my gravel pile there and I'm kind of hoping that I can just use this and and just keep working it back so that I can pre-stockpile. So this is the most that I can conceivably stockpile without scooping it. And so I wanted to see, you know, these kinds of things just work better when you can just do them, do them, do them. I'm also thinking it might be worth my time to bring the jack out, jack this truck up, set it on some flat rocks, and, and square up the body some. That really, that really might be a good idea. So I might do that too. Anyways, I'm hoping to be able to stockpile some more, some more gravel here and 
you know, at least if I get the pile out farther, then I can grab it with the excavator and, and, and scoop it, even without dragging the backhoe out of the swamps of Dagobah, where it currently is parked. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm one of those people that can't not do something, right? So even if it is just to run on my hamster wheel, I enjoy the run. What a sexy beast. So there's been a lot going on. We've now got a rock set up that appears to actually work. So I need a place to put that rock. So I came out here when uh, the wife was here in order to sort of poke around and try to figure out exactly where we are. Where we are is now quite a bit bigger than it was this morning. This is, this is a rock wall right here. This is a rock wall right here. This is a rock wall right here. Why in the world would I take the time and effort to build a retaining wall in, in front of two feet of dirt or eight feet of dirt towards back over here for this rock wall? So I removed it. <laughs> pile of dirt. I sat here and three stat. Oh, I've got so much dirt. It's pretty cool though. We found some some really interesting pockets. You know, uh, this has been dumped over now, but this this it turned into a bird bath when we're done. There's this big hole right in here, full of sand. I saved that. Gonna try pan it for gold. I know there's no gold, but not enough that I wouldn't try panning to make sure there's no gold. What I find super interesting, look at this. There are no sharp edges. This was a waterfall. There are no sharp edges all the way along this. None. Not a single one. It's not like up in there. See, up in there is it's got big cracks and and you know corners and whatnot not down here i don't really understand it because it doesn't appear to match anything in the lay of the land but we do know at one point the river was way up there and came down that big waterfall where the um, the area shea and i've been cleaning out but apparently this is one too I think that's that's really cool. As you can see from here, <laughs> that is that is quite a wall. And my retaining wall will end up being at least eight feet high. So what I'm trying to do now is clean this out enough and get it level enough that I can then flip the tractor around and begin flattening this. I want to not really create a sunken area, but I want to, I, yeah, I want to create a bit of a sunken area so that I can put, you know, two feet of gravel that will sit underneath everything. It is, however, very heartening to see that despite all the runoff, <laughs> even right along the rock face right there, this whole place is dry, so that's cool. So I'm just waddling around down here using the old case to make me a, a flat area.
Well, that's looking pretty good. I was trying to push hard enough that and I could put the first scoops of gravel down. I don't know. Maybe I still can. I got to deal with that pile of dirt right there and there's at least four or five scoops in that. And then there's some, some shovel and some rake work. This stuff uh, churns around like the silty sand that it is. I don't know that I've got much in the way of compaction to worry about and I was pretty careful with the excavator to not tear up you know the bottom layer to be honest my butt's sore from riding the seat speaking of seats the excavator were way out here some cat came in must have pissed all over it more than once too so that was awesome it it is like when the doors first open in the morning, like sitting in a litter box. It's because that bottom window is missing out of the machine, so there's no way to, to keep Garfield out of it. So, fun stuff. Anyways, uh, you, you didn't need to know that. I'm just tired. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, maybe what I'll do is, is clean up a bunch more of this. And uh, I, got a, I got a whole pile of rock already stacked at the rock crusher. So maybe I'll... It's 7 o'clock. You know, if I go to 9, then it'll, be, then it'll be 12 hours. And I can say that I've honestly done a day's work out here. I'm going to need a lot of fuel... Before I go, I gotta hook the red trailer up to the the Ford. I gotta get it home before <laughs> before dark for reasons I prefer not to put down here in this video. So. Yeah, we're not gonna get gravel on it today. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! We gave it a good honest shot. I forgot I gotta get that trailer home before dark. Anyways. I'm going to get in here, <clears throat> I'm going to smooth out as, as best as my lumpy duckling here will allow me to smooth out uh, this material. I know where the kid's going to be for the next <laughs> 10 whatevers. He is eminently fascinated with cleaning all the dirt off this rock wall and saving all the pockets of sand that he finds. So that is going to be the world's best sitter right there oh man well let's do what we got to do oh, the waterfall i can hear the waterfall i really need to hike in there and and show it to you guys before it melts off this year because it only it only flows while the melts coming off the hillside I got some time though. But yeah, the waterfall's flown. I didn't make it 12 hours. I made it 11 though. I was doing some grading and I noticed that it was absolute pure sand right here at the base of what we think might have been that waterfall. So I've been digging a heck of a hole, <clears throat> but I have a heck of a pile of pure washed sand so I know that's part of the ingredients for a robust mortar mix cement lime and sand <clears throat> and look at that stuff I mean it's it's got just the tiniest bit of little chunks of silt that might have fallen down from up above but I imagine that will be just fine. Not that sand is particularly expensive. It's just, I don't know. Waste not, want not. Depend on yourself. That kind of stuff. I think we're done. I'm going to load up some fuel cans. Uh, fill the backhoe. And... Tomorrow I'll come out here with 
with my splunker boy and he can chip chop on that hillside. I'll have to get the rest of my sand out first. And um, I'll crush rock and I'll begin I'll begin building the base. Pretty soon we'll be stacking rock. Which means I need to figure out how to stack rock. Oh man, other than that, it's been a productive two days out here at the, the river house. I got the, the, the whistle of swallow wings as they dive for the very first flying bugs. The quack of ducks, the honk of geese, even a screech of an eagle every once in a while. It's been a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.